Hello, my name is Sarah Burke and I want to tell you about my study abroad experience. I was given the chance of a lifetime and I was able to study abroad in Rome, Italy. For three months, I was able to take in the Italian culture through their food, their language, and their lifestyle. My favorite restaurant in Rome was the Vonanote near Piazza Navona. I went to this restaurant at least once a week and would order their penne al vodka every single time. While studying in Rome, I was able to travel throughout Italy and the rest of Europe. Amalfi in Italy was by far the most beautiful place that I went to in Italy. The beautiful clear water and the mountains of lemon trees were so amazing to see. My favorite European trip was Paris by far. While in France, I stayed in a hostel with four friends and we saw the Arc de Triomphe, Notre Dame, the Louvre, the Eiffel Tower, and my favorite, Versailles. We also got to try escargot, which was absolutely delicious. I also got to visit Ireland while abroad. I had so much fun being in the land of my ancestors during the Christmas season. Dublin was beautiful and I loved the cuisine, especially the curry fries. What I missed most about Europe was definitely the food. Everywhere I went, there was something new to try. Soupli, gnocchi, carbonara, I miss it all. And sadly, it is hard to find authentic Italian food in America. I also miss the fact that everywhere I went had such a rich history behind it. When I first came to Rome, I thought that there was a lot of construction going on. I later found that archaeologists were unearthing the ancient structures lying beneath the city. It was so cool walking around and being able to see something that Emperor Augustus made thousands of years ago sticking out of the ground. The hardest part about being abroad was being homesick and adjusting to the Italian lifestyle. Figuring out how to use Italian appliances was no simple task. It took about four of us to figure out how to use the washer and dryer, and the hair dryer was so far from the American version that we didn't know what it was until about two weeks in. I really missed my family while I was in Rome, and I did not get to speak to them much because of the time change. However, I was lucky enough to have my mother, my cousin, and my grandparents come and visit me just before Thanksgiving. We had so much fun walking around Rome together and dealing with my 80-year-old grandparents while they insisted on eating at McDonald's. My favorite memory of their visit was going to a huge Italian flea market. We walked throughout the entire market and saw some really cool Italian antiques. Then we walked around to see the Pantheon and the Charlie Fountain and had dinner at Trisevere. Having them visit me made me much less homesick and I really enjoyed our experience together. Now that it has been two years since I studied abroad in Italy, I have to say that I miss my life there every day. I cannot wait for the day that I get to go back to Rome, eat at Navona Note, walk around Campo di Fiori, and make another wish at the Charlie Fountain again.